All right, Carpet World, here we go. I just, and my brother just purchased this car lot. Right here, busy little area. Still gotta get out there and power wash the, the drive, the uh, concrete out there the lot. But as you can see, we dealing with some heavily soiled carpet. You can kind of see over here what it originally kind of looks like. And I'm just gonna play around here with my uh, orc. I got uh, just a maybe a ounce or less of fire dragon. And then I got two ounces of green dragon in there and just a little bit of OSR to kind of boost him up. Say, as you can see, carpets are heavily soiled. We're really gonna most definitely steam clean these carpets, but I just want to see what this VLM can do on this type of situation. So I'll be getting back with y'all here in just a second to give you a update on how it comes out and show you a little bit of the process as it goes through. I'm finna uh, already pre-vacuum, or my brother, he already pre-vacuumed, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and lay the pre-spray down and we'll see what it do. All right. Just pre-sprayed, now we're taking the green brush and agitating. Pre-spray, and then we'll go back with the uh, Neptune pad. Neptune pad man is a beast. So it's this green brush. The green brush uh, is gonna give you a good deep agitation. Getting those, getting the uh, cleaning solution deep down into the fibers. While the uh, Neptune pad is gonna give you that good scrub. Scrubbing out stains and get out. Brush also is going to pull up anything that the vacuum couldn't get. It was too deep on the carpet fibers. So that's what this brush is going to do. Then the, then the, uh, the Iron Man bonnet is going to go through and absorb the strength of the thing. And then we'll come up with a post vacuum and get post vacuum it up and pretty much get a lot of loose debris that this green brush is pulling up out of here. I honestly think we're gonna get some really, really good results out of this. Compared to the way it was. Every time I go to a carpet job, if this is a personal job here, this is brother's car lot so I'm gonna make sure it's actually my brother's car lot who let me come in. I'm very grateful and thankful for that. Very grateful and thankful for that. Gives me an opportunity man to get going and eventually get my own lot within the next six months to a year. That's my plan. I don't want to be in bros here all the time, because I know me and bro at times we think differently. And uh, just kind of the way mama raised us to have you on. But I do truly appreciate him letting me come in and be a part of what he worked so hard to accomplish. Uh, man, just put me in so much work, buying, selling cars, bringing them back from the dead almost. And, just waking them up, putting in thousands of dollars, thousands of hours of work to get these cars back to be able to sell. So therefore the customer ends up with a great running, long lasting vehicle due to the extensive time and effort that bro put into the cars that he was flipping. Still is flipping, still. But uh, yeah.
as you can see here, getting some really nice application. Really nice application. like after agitating. All right, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Cleaners Connect, Truck Mile Farms, BLM, all things, Pad Life, and all the rest of you guys out there. As you can see, I'm uh, agitating, pre-scrubbing, whether I would say, with the uh, Neptune pad. You want to know where to get one of these at? Contact Damon Williams at the NCAP store. That's Damon Williams at the NCAP store. Or just contact the NCAP store. Because Damon Williams owns the NCAP store. Uh, man, this guy has some awesome products. I'm using his uh, Green Dragon and Fire Dragon. And, but I did, I will say this, I did put a little bit of booster in there uh, from uh, CTI has some uh, smart cap booster. I put just a tad bit in there just to see if it'll kind of spruce it up. And of course, Fire Dragon is already boosted, but I only put maybe a three quarters of an ounce of Fire Dragon. It's got a little one gallon pump up there. But you can see carpet's getting some great results, man. We haven't even pull my pad out to the strap yet so this is just with the green brush first and then we went back here with the uh the neptune pad and i, I just really love the neptune pad it's probably one of my favorite scrubbing tools scrubbing attachments that i have it just really does a great job of breaking that soil down and lifting it up to the top so So what I'm finna do here now is basically I'm finna, I'm about to uh, hit it with another shot of pre-spray. Pre-spray uh, my microfiber. I'm gonna go microfiber first and then I'm gonna go finish it off with the Iron Man next. And we're gonna see how it come out. And if you wanna know, I have pictures of the earlier shots, but these are how the carpets were. Pretty much all over, pretty sort of pretty soil and so really when you're dealing with carpets like this if you look out there it's nothing but pavement this is a car lot we at it's nothing but pavement a lot of the black soot and soil that gets in the carpet is actually that asphalt but that asphalt is an oil based uh, uh, product and so you want to use an oil based cleaner in order to remove it because that's basically what it is it's just oils uh, it's causing the stains so that's just a little tip but i'm gonna get back to here and i'll fill you all in when i started with my pad all right we back as promised got the uh microfiber pad with strips with uh scrub strips i'm gonna see i'm gonna soil it can pick up and then i'm gonna go back I definitely know it's going to pick up. So like I say, I just uh, pre-scrubbed, pre-agitated with the green brush. A uh, little scrubbing action there as well. And then I pre-scrubbed with the uh, blue Neptune pad uh, right here. And now we're actually doing a pad extraction with the uh, blue microfiber with scrub strips. 
after this pad scratching, we're going to come back with the Iron Man bunch. Overall, guys, I'm not going to lie, this is some good results, man, coming out here. This is a big flat stain, you can still kind of see it a bit. See the color difference right there. But uh, it lightened up tremendously. This, after the pre spray, it started to lighten up. So I think we ought to get some. And like I said, this is a test run. Uh, I don't know if you have to see my van out there. Like, uh, but we do hot water extraction as well, so. But I do, I love the BLM, it's, it's really uh, relaxing. And for those of y'all, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I've heard other people say it, so I know it's not just me, but running this org, man, is like really therapeutic. It really is, man, it's, it's I can't explain it. It's, it's really ASMR. May look like may look like I'm working and I am, but I'm actually having a great time doing what I love to do. Go through here and see what we can pick up. Sorry about that guys. Go through here and see what we can pick up and you can see it. By the way, definitely making a dent in this dirt. Those copper fibers. Kind of low. This is why I love this pad. You can see, you know, the running off the baseboard without damaging. cleans up right along the baseboard extremely like, well. So me personally, I'm a fan of the oversized pads. This is a 15 on a 12 inch driver. So, it may even be a 10 inch, you know what, I think it's a 10 inch driver, I'm sorry. So this is a 15 inch pad on a 10 inch driver. Got about two and a half inches of space protruding out on each side, so it does make one heck of a difference. And this is that traffic area that we was talking about, probably the most horrendous part of the carpet with this area right here, and as you can see, it's, it's cleaning up, it's cleaning up, it's cleaning up I, I, really quite nicely, so I'm going to see. So I'm gonna switch up pads. I'm gonna get right back. 